Because she talked about being an avocado. That's her fruit. Oh. <laughs> Well, so we have six fruit left, we and do. I can promise you we're not going to get to all We of do. We have love, joy, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, mm-hmm. and eek, self-control. Mm. Well, I have something funny we want to show the people. My youngest grandson, I have 12 grandchildren, and my youngest one, a little over two years old, his mother is teaching him the fruit of the Spirit, and you have to look at this and see what he said. Can we say the fruit of the Spirit? Love, self-control, joy, self-control, peace, self-control, patience, self-control, kindness, self-control, goodness, self-control, gentleness, self-control, faithfulness, faithfulness, and (laughs) self-control. I think that's hilarious. Every one of them was self-control till he got to self-control, and then he wouldn't say anything. So. <laughs> Isn't that the way it is with self-control? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, when I, you actually have to use it, then yeah. it's like, nah. I'll tell you all about I'll it until about I have it. to. I thought it was funny. At two and a half, he already knows. Every one of them takes self-control. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very true. That, that is so fun. I, I love to see the way children... Um, assimilate these things because they really pick up on a lot of stuff but that little twist is always very fun yeah. and if I was going to talk about the fruit of the spirit I might do the opposite and just leave out self-control <laughs> <laughs> pretend it doesn't list in yeah, the list. yeah yeah it is pretty important though you you talked before Joyce about how the the bookends yeah I was of, gonna mention of that. love like, and self-control are you so start, important I think all of the fruit of the spirit comes out of love yeah I mean you don't you're not gonna do any of the rest of them if right. you don't love but then self-control, the last one, is like what holds them all in place. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like sometimes love tells me to be kind, mm-hmm. but I have to use self-control to be kind. Yeah. yeah. And love always tells us to be humble, but we sure need self-control for mm-hmm. that. So, and so yeah, the baby's I, got it right. <laughs> I consider uh-huh. the I consider the two of them to be two that we need to talk about a lot because yeah. really the rest of them, if you've got the love and the self-control. And you have a desire to do the rest of them, it's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> Let me ask you this question because a lot of people talk about the gifts of the Spirit. You know, we we all either want the gifts or we're afraid of the gifts because we don't understand them, right. whatever that might be. But I think it's really important to distinguish between the two. So we're going to start right now with a, a little clip from your teaching that just helps explain this so well, the difference okay. between the gifts and the fruit. Take a listen. In God's kingdom, we are not known or applauded by the gifts that God gives us. But what God looks for is fruit. He looks for character. He says you will know them by their fruit. The world admires gifts. Boy, if you can do something that the world thinks is great, you're in. But God admires character. Gifts are easy, they're given. We're not better than one another because we can do something that someone else can't do. We must learn to live deeper. Either make the tree sound healthy and good and its fruit sound healthy and good, or make the tree rotten, diseased, and bad, and its fruit rotten, diseased, and bad. For the tree is known and recognized and judged by its fruit. Fruit. We need to learn how to be fruit inspectors. We need to live deeper. We need to look deeper at the people's lives that we're around and the people that we get hooked up with. You know, a peach tree, you know that a peach tree is a peach tree because it bears peaches, right? A peach tree doesn't go around with a megaphone yelling, I'm a peach tree, I'm a peach tree, go look at me, I'm a peach tree. Yeah, well, where's your peaches? (laughs) Well, that's what happens with Christians. Oh, I'm a Christian. I say, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I cast out devils. Whoa, ho, I'm a Christian. Yeah, well, where's your fruit? You're known by your fruit. Are you helping anybody? Are you patient? Are you loving people? Are you a giver? Are you quick to apologize? Are you gentle? Are you faithful? Are you sticking with something and refusing to give up on anything? How do you treat people? Those are the things that are important to God. Somebody say amen. 
Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that you went deeper yeah. with the fruit of the Spirit because it's easy to run through them, love, joy, mm-hmm. peace, patience, kindness, and just, just kind of gloss over them. But you got into forgiveness. I mean, it, the things that come out of the fruit are the things that we have to do. So when you're talking about living deeper, I, I think that's so important and not just seeking after those gifts, right. but being who he wants us to be. Well, I went through a, a, a phase. I was in the church when there was a phase going through about the gifts of the Spirit. And everybody wanted to know what their gift was. Mm-hmm. What's your gift? What's my gift? Let's compare gifts. And <laughs> God just began to show me that it's, you don't know people by their gifts. Right. I mean, my gift to teach and preach is a gift that God gave me. You know, so if you read in Romans 12, it says, don't think more highly of yourself than you ought to. Mm -hmm. And it talks about the gifts. And so we have to realize that, you know, Jay sings, I preach. Ginger has a lot of creative gifts. Aaron has a lot of creative gifts. We don't all have the same gifts, Mm -hmm. but they're not our gifts. Right. Yeah. They're really gifts that God has given us, mm-hmm. so we don't need to compare ourselves with one another. Yes, we want to use our gifts, but gifts are given. Fruit is not given. Mm-hmm. The seed of fruit is given, but it has to grow. Mm-hmm. And like, for example, um, humility is a fruit that only grows under trial. Oh, you can't. That's the truth. You can't. <laughs> or, 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 pa- I'm sorry. Pa- <laughs> I'm sorry. I had it wrong. Patience. Patience. Yeah. It comes from a Greek word that says you. It only grows under yeah. trial, and that's yeah. why people don't ever want to pray for patience no, because they know if they pray for it. patience, you'll get a problem yeah. mm-hmm. that you have to solve. I actually had and, that on on the way here today. <laughs> <laughs> why is that? That whenever we talk about something, yes. we're going to start getting yes. absolutely tempted or tried or just to just God saying, are you actually going to do this or are you just going right. to talk about it to somebody yeah. else? Yeah. So I had two people pull out in front of me today on my way to work so hard that I had to slam on the brakes. Everything went flying to the front of the car. You know, the first time you're like, okay, thank you, God. The second time you're like, what is going on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so trying that patience, I'll tell you, I and I'll be honest, I, I did not pass with flying colors. You didn't pass. No, do, I, we, do we have to go back and talk I, about patience I, again? I, well... <laughs> I'll just keep working on it personally. Yeah. <laughs> this is such a big thing. But I think I think all point. of us will work on all of them yeah. at different times in our life. I thought it was so interesting when you talk about that, how the fruit is what is most important. That's what we need to focus on. When you look at scriptures, that's what Jesus is teaching us to do. He's not He's not telling me here, Aaron, how here is how you be a more creative person at your job. He cares and I can find scripture to help me be a leader, but he cares more about the fruit in my life and teaching me to be a person after his own heart, not mm-hmm. here's how to do your job. Yeah. I think it's so powerful how you just talked about like we've all I've heard this all my life about gifts come without repentance. Like mm-hmm. you can get a gift, like Whomever, because you know you see people that you know are doing awful things in the world, and they're just so gifted yeah. to do certain. It's like, how did they? But you have to remind yourself, like, <laughs> you know, how do they get to do it like that? Like, you know, and and I'm like this, and so, but not comparing the gifts, mm-hmm. but also understanding that the gift is that it's the actual word. It's a gift. It was given from God, but the fact that fruit is to cultivate that. That is really our responsibility.
responsibility. Yeah. It's really our responsibility to really do that and, and practice that those bookends of love and self-control. A lot of times, if you notice, though, people who have real strong gifts that put them in the public eye, mm-hmm. if they don't have fruit, if they don't treat people good, many, many times they end up failing yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and their lives fall apart. Very yeah. publicly. And I know God, God spoke to me when my ministry started getting bigger and I was on TV and we were having thousands of people come to the meetings. And he said, I want you to always remember that however many people you can help, that's exactly how many you can hurt. Wow, mm. that's really good. Mm. And so, you know, the more people you're in front of, the more responsibility you have to make sure that you're living the life, not just telling other people yeah. how to live the life. I wrote a book recently called Loving People That Are Hard in Love. A couple of weeks ago, I had an occasion to get really mad at somebody, and uh, I was mad for maybe three hours, and then I remembered my book. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot to help you with that. <laughs> I wrote a book about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, I have to forgive. Yeah. And, you know, if you talk about, this is what I think. I think that love really is how you treat people. 